So I'm standing here with Tom Combs, and you are a Bonide, right, Tom? Correct. So we're going to be talking about things that are happening at this time of year, which is an explosion of growth. Unfortunately, sometimes there's things growing that we don't want, and a lot of times they appear in our lawns. Yes, so they are. first of all, let's talk about some of the weeds that really are populating our lawns at this time of year. You have a selection of them here, I see. I do. <laughs> I do in my own yard, matter of fact. Uh, with the warm weather we've had and uh, some recent rains, um, a lot of the broadleaf weeds and grassy weeds are actively growing in yeah. our turf grasses, as you can see here. Um, so we've got, we've got some weedy grasses going here. This is commonly known as annual bluegrass. You can identify it with the little seed capsule okay. that it sets at a very low um, height. And uh, over time, it can overtake your turf grasses. And we've got some products that we're going to demonstrate today and show you. Other things that are going on in the turf is um, plantain. This is a very common broadleaf weed. Yeah. And then we've got some dandelions popping over here. That had a flower on it a few days ago. <laughs> so as you can see, a lot of uh, weeds in general growing in our in our turf grass. So what is the product that you're going to be showing us today? Tell us about that. So we've got a product here from Bonide. Uh, it's called Weed Beater uh, Plus and uh, comes in a number of different sizes. The one in my hand is a ready to use. So it's pre-mixed. You just pull the trigger and do some spot spraying. Nice. Excellent for small areas. And then the other size is what I call a hose and go mm -hmm. or a ready to spray. And uh, the garden hose goes here on this side has an on and off switch and then a fan tip so that'll spray about 25 feet in a nice even uh, fan um, pattern as it comes out. So it seems like this would be a pretty easy way to take care of your lawn but why don't you show us like how you would actually apply it. Love to. Okay, Tom, now I was watching you do that, and I, first of all, I saw that this is really, really easy, but let's be realistic. You, you don't want to do it if you have like more than 12 plants in a space. Correct. I mean, 12 weeds in a space. Correct. So now the easier thing to do, though, is the spray and go if you have an entire lawn to do. Tell me some of the tips that you followed while doing that. Yeah, great point. So on the 32 ounce ready to use, the one in your hand, that would be just for some small areas. Yeah. Maybe you have six to eight, 12 weeds. Again, small areas, that would be a good choice. Um, the one in my hand with the hose connected to it would be for much larger turf areas, say uh, 1,000 square feet or bigger. Okay. And you have, again, both grassy weeds and broadleaf weeds. Um, with the normal uh, water pressure at the hose bib, as you can see, this will throw about 25 feet. Yeah. Uh, but be careful, you know, this is a weed killer. It is a weed beater. Yeah. Uh, but it also would harm ornamental plants. So okay. as you can see, as I applied this, I was very careful of not getting it on the ornamental plants. So Tom, I noticed that you were walking backwards as you sprayed that. Yeah, great point, and I'm glad you noticed. So a product like this, we don't want to be walking through what we've applied. So I walked to the very furthest point out in my yard turned it on and then walked backwards. So I would think then if that, if you were really cautious there and you still had weeds close to the beds, you could use this one Absolutely. then and hit them good that point. way. Okay. Yep, good point. And what about temperature? Temperature is key. Uh, so we're uh, late May, early June, which is key because now we're having uh, daytime temperatures of 65 and above. Yeah. And for this product, these active ingredients, we need that. We need temperatures of 65 and above. Okay. We also want to be cautious not to be spraying when it's ex extreme heat and that would be 80 and above. Okay. Now, if we're forecasting uh, 80 and above, we can still go out in the morning and spray this, but just don't do it during the heat. Because I would think it does need a, a dry time before rain or sprinklers yes. hit it again. Yeah, and this time of year, uh, you know, the weather patterns can be very unpredictable. Yeah. So this does need five hours of dry weather after it's applied to be effective. Perfect. Well, you know, if, if it's that time of year, you're out in your garden, you're going, oh my goodness, look, look at my lawn, I've got to do something with it. Uh, you can go to gardentime.tv, we'll click you over to the Bonide website. You can find out where these beauties are sold, make your lawn perfect for those summertime parties. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. Thank you.